I'm fine. I, I fell, but everything's all right. I'm fine. Oh shit! They're alive. These bushes. Something's flying out of them. It's those creatures! They're the ones doing it! Interrupt your uh, speech, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I'll ask you how many times already. <sighs> it's not like I'm looking for problems where there aren't any. The task is extremely difficult. Yes, it is. At least we learnt the truth about this planet and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure... I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's the latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it? Maybe that won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker... No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people, alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. I know what I saw. Two people alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them? Yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends. And a contused lung begins. But at least... Yes? I'm alive. Hello, and welcome back to The Invincible. You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. 
What do you mean? My accident, for example. It, it's true, I, I hurt myself badly back then. Damaged the radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy. Yes. I did not leave you here, but I'm glad you are here. close to this fallen balloon. <laughs> ah, what's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like, like the title of some Renaissance painting. The fallen balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I found the recorder. The fallen recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units. No significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two vehicles that weren't there before. And they're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square next to the vehicles. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. 
But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the Cloud's attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh, it captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait! You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man! So he's real after all. I knew it! I told you! That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. But of course, we are taking our rover now. Which is... Miraculously changing its place. You know, Doctor, decades of space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. Why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. With a selfless desire to help others. I can't believe... Oh! The probe again. Is it right near the base? Within range of the control center? Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what it's recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. If only I could remember where the control was. I think it was on this way. admire a beautiful view an hour seems like a minute but a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour does we just three feel like a hot stove sometimes Right. 
Let's meet this probe. I'll bring it to the ground. I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout. And it's right above my head. All I needed to do was look up. So this means there's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them. It seems that I need to fix something. This one is P2 for sure, the other one I can check. So... I don't know the reason why it will... Oh, I'll just come here. I do not understand the reason why it wouldn't show me... Don't show me the... What's happening with... Not here, here. As you can see here, I can see it. I heard that the difference between past, present and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. Okay, and the third one is the one we need to get rid of. Right? Back to the number number two. Hopefully, it's considered landed. We go out the room exit and we go and check the probe. Now of course we go and check the hideout.
I have to climb without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route. <sighs> I'm all right. I'm almost there. Perhaps it's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I will find the man. You it made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. <laughs> Shit! How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yes, now what is it? Why is it too late? Jasna, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... <laughs> you. What have you done? Shit. He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. It's his planet. I'm trapped here too. Get up. I said get up. <laughs> 